Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, week three of our online learning, we're about to start that one. Um, we're gonna be a little bit more vertically aligned this week. So six through 12, everybody's going to be doing legato strokes and dynamics and um, flams and paradiddles at varying speeds, obviously. Um, let me go through a couple of things that are gonna be mandatory for this video submission. One, uh, you have to submit your video with the audio track playing in the background, okay? So I've gotta be able to hear that, okay? Um, rule number two, the angle needs to be this. It needs to be a straightforward shot so I can see your sticks, your pad, um, and for eighth grade and high school, I need to see your feet. So that angle needs to be pushed back a little bit so I can actually see uh, you moving your feet. Um, don't need to see your face, but I do need to see your feet if you're in eighth grade um, or high school. Let me turn that off real quick. Okay, um, cool. Another thing, do not submit a video until, the, until you can play along with my recording in the previous video, okay? So all of those recordings I did where I'm actually playing all of this stuff at the varying tempos, you, that is going to be your practice routine, okay? So you're gonna play it with me and you have to be able to do that at least one time with no mistakes before you actually submit your uh, submissions, which will be due on Friday. So I'm trying to give you uh, five business days to really, to really practice this and really work it up, okay? So let's get into the pedagogy. Um, legato strokes and dynamics, okay? Um, first of all, make sure that you're playing the double stop on count four. One, two, three, four. We want these to be consistent as possible. The whole philosophy that if I, well, if I take my left hand away, what am I playing? Right, so that smooth connected flow of the legato stroke. Um, do not forget there is a, um, a hand switching repeat system that's going on in this etude, right? So if we start off on the right hand, whatever it is, repeat off the left hand, right? Back to the right hand, okay? So as long as you're playing the correct rhythms and you're keeping the legato stroke smooth and even and connected, um, the first line is not gonna be a big deal. Again, make sure that you switch the hand on the repeat, okay? Uh, the decrescendo line. This is what I do not want to see. I don't wanna see legato strokes played like this, where the top of my hand is completely still. That is not okay. That is not okay, okay? Um, what you need to do is whenever you're playing that decrescendo stroke, I'm keeping maybe that much space away from my palm, nothing more. I do not want to see this. Why? Because that's incredibly hard to control and get a consistent uh, decrescendo out of. You need to move your wrist for every single note. I'm not getting crazy with um, hinging at my fingers, okay? Um, what else? Match dynamics with the track, right? So the track is actually getting softer, so you need to make sure that you match um, your dynamic to the, to the audio track actually um, getting softer, okay? Uh, closed hands for crescendo and decrescendo, what I just talked about, not this, right? Move your wrist and control the dynamic down with your wrist, okay? Uh, the forte piano in the last line, those are quarter notes, so don't play them too fast. Right, left, right, left. Eighth note, eighth note, eighth note, eighth note. All the way to the end, right? Cool. Um, this one is pretty straightforward. It's gonna be sixth graders playing at the slow tempo, seventh grade playing at the medium tempo, and then eighth grade and high school playing at the fast tempo. Listen, if you are getting frustrated and you cannot play it that fast yet, you need to start Monday Playing slow, first of all, just be real. And like if, if you're, I can't play it that fast. That's okay, that's perfectly fine. You need to get in the habit of realizing your tempo threshold. So that slow track is at 84. Probably playing a little bit too fast, but you understand what I'm saying, right? I, you, can, you can spend a day at that 84, get it rhythmically correct, get it dynamically correct, and then bump it up to the medium and let that be your goal as you progress through the week, okay? So as far as pedagogy, legato strokes, and dynamics, that's pretty much it. 
play your heights even, and keep the time. Okay, so um, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, there will be another pedagogy video on flams and parables, so look out for that one. Okay, you guys take it easy. I'll talk to you later. Bye.